Who is today's cultural hall of shame? Well, you know, we're getting to the end of 2012, and there's yes. some things that you want to put a rest to, and this is one, a perfect venue is the, an induction into the hall of shame. Okay. So this is the most recent in a, I don't like it's so it's I don't know if it's a trend, but there's an alarming frequency of this thing that I'm about to shame, which is um, surgical tools being left inside the patient's bodies, the most recent of, of which happened in a hospital in the UK, Addenbrooke Hospital. Where Tools man, being left inside human bodies. Yeah, yeah, surgical gear. It's not that, I explained it pretty well, with surgical tools being left in patients. This guy had a liver transplant, complained of pain several weeks later, went back to the hospital, and, you know, he had a pain, you know, like the kind that would be caused by a thing the size of a small ping pong battle that had been left behind. Right, right. inside his inside body. Inside his body. That's horrible. It, and it just this, the fact that this hasn't, this isn't the only time it's happened. It's not, it's not even shocking. Right. You right? want to put and an end to this. Is it possible? <laughs> I mean, I can't spit the shame out fast enough. Was someone in a hurry in the <laughs> ER? Is there like a, is there like a friendly rivalry between <laughs> ORs? Hey, liver transplant versus heart, heart transplant. Last one to the break room is a dirty, rotten egg. Right. Right? What's, How did they leave the tool inside the body? Time? Yeah. Exactly. There's so many safeguards against this. Shouldn't they? Like the fact, Jean, that they even have a policy, mm -hmm. right, in place. To, there's something called count in, count out. <laughs> it means that this has happened. You count the tools, than, yeah. And aren't things used one at a time <laughs> in surgery? Hand me a scalpel. Scalpel's handed, cut his mate, scalpel's handed back. It's not like right. someone's well, given a, a scalpel. They're busy. They have a lot of things on their and mind. And then suddenly your nose is itchy. You put the thing down, and then you you forget where you put it. You and sew I, up the body. Listen, I yeah. get accidents, okay? Yeah. But we're talking about a patient that has spotlights <laughs> aimed right on him. If you drop something, it's right. not like you're eating a grape in a car, and it falls under the seat, and you never find it right. until a year, a year later you're reaching for your phone, and then there's right. this there's thing that's my like, tool. it's yeah. a raisin, right? <laughs> it's right there. Chances right. are it's like you just look down. Yes. I bet you'll find it. Yeah. And then let's just say you've overlooked everything. Right. When you're closing this guy up <laughs> yes. and, and it takes two people to pull the skin <laughs> flaps together because something's jammed. It's like an overstuffed right, right. gym bag, yeah. the zipper. You can't <laughs> lean him over, <laughs> kneel on him, turn him on his side. Right, and look right. at this guy. Right. It shouldn't then be the... Or, okay, how about the very, the last buck stops here? The guy who's washing the tools. Shouldn't <laughs> yeah. he be like, hey, guys, you know that thing? This is here beside the clamps. Has right. anyone seen it? It's you Michael know, Caine. It's in yeah, the yeah. drawer. <laughs> but shouldn't we get that thing? Where's right. that thing gone? Right. The count in, count out. Yeah, Wait, the do tools. They, do the yeah. tools need to have little strings on them, like <laughs> mittens on a kid's jacket? They, actually, that's not a bad invention. Is Dragon's Den? Do you know anyone at Dragon's Den? Because yes, I sir. think I've got an idea. Yeah. Yeah. Has it finished taping? This is genius. Idiot mittens on the surgical tools. Right, right. Okay. It's got to end. No more. I don't want to hear one of these stories in 2013. Okay. Uh, so n uh, inducted into the Hall of Shame, is it the the surgeons or is it the oh, actual Jean, tools? Oh, shouldn't it just be I, the I have a list of what's inducted, and I want to know what exactly what I'm inducting here, or you are inducting. It is the occurrence, the more than one ever in a lifetime occurrence of a surgical tool ever. Because you see these things when they print them in the newspaper. You, you see that some, for whatever reason, they don't trust the guy who's in pain and so that he gets an ultrasound. And there they are, scissors, right, right like right next to the bladder. Well, I recognize the bladder. And oh, look at that, the scissors. What do you think shouldn't be in there? Right. Should we go we back left in our and, scissors in Well, there. we did a good job on the bladder, but the scissors shouldn't be there. Mm. This is dedicated. I to mean, my you would think any accident could be prevented, but you know, things still happen. Things shouldn't happen. Why is this dedicated they to your father-in-law? Well, because he underwent some surgery, and I'm thinking about him, and I'm hoping that he doesn't have any pain, <laughs> and we don't find out it's a giant. I don't know. I don't know what's in this stethoscope, <laughs> something that just slipped off from someone's right. neck. Things shouldn't be left behind. You should be focusing on right. what you're doing. Don't you think things happen? Things happen in your studio. Uh, right. Things shouldn't be don't happening. Don't drop them in people's in bodies. The ER. Elvira Kurt, comedian, writer, curator of Q's Cultural Hall of oh, Shame. I'll be back next we'll week. See you next week.